folks, welcome to our musky segment, Moonrise Muskies. Whatever Moonrise, you know, I wrote the, this, these books and these articles, and of course you've seen my moon charts. You can see my Musky 360, our, our, our popular uh, musky app. They're also in magazines. And you know, the, the study of the moon, moonrise, moon set, moon overhead, moon underfoot, those are things that trigger movement of creatures everywhere from, from small insects to big predators like muskies. And my key thing, what I learned many, many years ago in, in the late 70s and into the early 80s, especially when I was in the guide business, is that when I start catching fish, it's like, okay, what's different? You know, like the fish I just caught, the fish you're about to see, what's different? You know, it's, it's early evening. It's, you know, an average day. There's no weather conditions. There's no pickup and the, there's no wind switch. There's no a weather front. There's no barometer change. But what was, what was, what was different? Moonrise, okay? Moonrise changes daily. Moonset changes daily. If you, if you remember anything from this discussion that I'm talking about here today is that just make sure you're on a good spot during moonrise or moonset. If either moonrise or moonset occurs while you're on a body of water, and you can check those by, by checking our charts in Joe Booker's Moon Secrets, um, you want to be on a really good spot. And we plan this, as you'll see the segment unfold, is uh, Tyler Andrews and I plan to be on this spot minutes before, minutes after moonrise. And right now we're about four days before the full moon. And that moon is gonna get later every day. And guess what? The bite's gonna get later every day. Couple, couple other quick points with this moon thing that'll help you on your fishing. When you have weak conditions like this, I've got a post cold front, bluebird, north, northwest, northeast winds blowing it's a small window. So the window of opportunity on moonrise or moonset is like five or 10 minutes, one cast. Uh, this fish hit literally, I would say five minutes after the moon rise, after the moon rose. So, you know, when you have really good conditions, that whole window opens up and you have a bigger window before and after a moon peak. And these daily moon peaks change every day. And when you have weather systems and better weather, you can expect bigger feeding windows. But when you have a really weak feeding window, this is kind of the only time you have a chance. One last thing, sunrise and sunset, those are also triggers. So sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moonset, they happen every day. And when the, you're just on an average fishing day, those kind, being in a good spot at that key time when the moon is rising or the moon is setting or the sun is rising or the sun is setting, might make, give you that one opportunity, one. And that's the first fish we've seen all day, first fish. Check it out. On moonrise. Where you at, Guru? Good one? Yep, good one. Oh, a really good one, Guru. Look at this fish pull. Oh, I can't see him. That's all right, don't just grab. Oh. Look at this fight, folks. Oh, my. Turn it on, turn it, yep. Hold on here. Heavy bag. Wow, what a fight. Gary, come on here. Take him, boo. There you go. Oh. Hey. Moonrise musky. Yeah. See, folks, you heard it 10 minutes ago. If we're going to catch one, it's got to come right now. So that was a classic, like textbook, predicted moonrise fish. Classic, classic. And we had spent hours out here prior to this 
checking deep water, open water, cribs, weed lines. And then what I did, as I suggested to Tyler, is right moments before moonrise, we put the trolling motor down, fish the most windward spot. That's another thing I've, I've had a lot of success with is get on the most windward spot on the lake. And uh, a good food shelf on the windward side of the lake. And look at that, isn't that a beautiful fish? Wow, baby. Northern Wisconsin, stained water, beautiful fish. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. Moonrise Muskies.